Hey guys, we're back with our second portion of this uh, three moment equation question where we're solving for a first degree indeterminate beam. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's uh, let's go into it. Okay, so at the end of the last video, we determined that the moment at B is equal to negative 151.5 kip feet. So uh, what does that mean exactly? And how do we use that to get the reactions on the beam? And simply, uh, you just need to remember your sign convention. Okay, so um, when there is bending like this on a beam, okay, this is our beam, if the top portion of the beam is in compression, okay, that's considered a positive moment, all right? So that's just the sign convention that you need to know. So since we got a negative uh, moment here, that means that at this portion at B, okay, we're going to have two moments of 151.5 kip feet, and as you can see, it's in the opposite direction of our uh, sign convention for positive moment, okay? So, uh, how do we work with this? Well, what we can do is we can, t since, uh, as you can see in this diagram here, what I did, I just drew it out because it's going to take a little less time to record this video, but I cut the beam just before B, uh, the support B, so I separated the beam into three pieces, okay? And what we can do now, since we have the, uh, the internal forces here, okay, we know that where we cut the beam, there needs to be an equal and opposite force, internal force on the other side where we cut it, okay? So that means that here, and here, we also have, okay, and I'm just going to draw a little arrow, 151.5 kip feet, okay? And they're in the opposite direction. See that? Same with this one. This is 151.5 kip feet, okay? So, now we have this section AB here, all right? And I'm going to draw AB, okay? I'm going to draw it out again down here, okay? So we have AY, uh, we have 30 kip. 20 kip, and we have this uh, unknown, so we'll call it by to the left, or by of the section AB, okay? We have this unknown uh, force here that we, where we cut the beam, but we do know that the moment is 151.5 kip feet. Okay, so well, what can we do now? Uh, I think we can go ahead and we can solve for AY, and then we can end up solving for BY, right? Because we have uh, two unknowns here, and um, let's go ahead and uh, figure it out, okay? So let's take the moment about B. All right, and the moment about B here is simply going to be, we're going to have uh, negative AY times 24 plus 30 times 16 plus 20 times 8, and then we have a, a negative 151.5 moment. That's equal to zero. And if we go ahead and solve for AY, we should get a value of 20.4 kip. And that is going to be up, just as we assumed it to be. Very good. And if we take the summation of forces in the Y, okay, so we're just going to have pretty simple, right? We have 20.4 minus 30 minus 20, okay, and then that's times negative 1. That's 29.6 for BY. A, B. Perfect. Okay, so uh, that is the reactions on the left side of the beam, okay? So using the concept that we use to transfer these moments, that the where we cut the beam just before B, that the where we cut, the force needs to be equal and opposite on the other side, okay? So if B, Y is equal to, and we'll write it just below there, B, Y is 29.6, and A, Y is 20. 0.4, okay, then that means that we can take, we know what this force is here, okay? And what we're trying to do is we're trying to solve for this little system here, okay? Because once we have these two forces, then we can find Vy, right? We can do summation of forces. So we're going to take this and we're going to move it up here, and we're going to say that this force is 29.6 kip, okay? I know it's a little messy, but uh, just bear with me here. So let's take a look at the right section here, BC, okay? So BC is, and I'll just rewrite it so it's a little cleaner, we have our distributed load. I'm just going to draw in black here. I think you guys know what's going on. Okay, we have C, we have B. Okay, we have BY where we cut the beam. We'll call that BYBC. And we have that moment over here that we transferred, okay, which is in this direction. And that is going to be 151.5 kip feet. Okay, we have 2.5 kip per feet here. And we have a distance of 20 feet. 
So, like we did before, you can take the moment about B, you can take the moment about C, either one will work. Let's take the moment about C this time. Okay, if we take the moment about C, we're going to have 2.5, okay, times the distance, so we're going to resolve this into a force, times 20 times half of that, which is 10. We have a positive moment this time of 151.5, according to our sign convention, and we have minus BY, BC, times 20. That's equal to zero, so BYBC is equal to 32.6 kit up. Okay, and if we take the summation of forces, okay, uh, we're going to find that CY, I'm not just going to hurry through, you don't want to see me do that, that's easy, 17.4 kit up. Okay, so this is 17.4 kit, and this here is 32.6. Now, we have everything that we need in order to solve the reaction at BY, which was our initial problem. We, we couldn't find that, okay? So we have 17.4 for this one, okay? And if we know that this is 32.6, okay, we're going to know that this one, because this is we cut the beam right here, okay? So this be, this force here is 32.6 kit. So I'm going to take this, uh, this portion here, and I'm just going to draw it for you down here. So we have section B, we'll call it. Okay, so what it's going to look like is we have our support here, we have BY, and we have a 29.6 kip force here, okay, and we have a 32.6 kip force here. And, you know, how do we solve this uh, system? We simply take the forces in Y with up as positive, and now we can say we have 29.6 minus 32.6 plus BY equals zero. And what does BY end up being? Well, BY is simply equal to, if we go ahead and put that in our calculator, we're going to get by being equal to 62.2. And that is the reaction, the final reaction solved. So we have by is equal to 62.2 kit. Okay. So let me circle the reactions because that's it gets a little bit messy to be honest, which is why it, this isn't too hard this question, but um, as you can see, even trying to explain this to you was a little bit tricky to draw. So I hope that helped. You know, it's, uh, we'll do a, a, a second degree indeterminate three moment equation question for you, which is even messier than this. But I'll do my best to try and explain it to you. I hope uh, you learned a couple tricks, especially with the K uh, value in the first video. And um, as always, thanks for watching, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.